Okay, so I guess we should uh, we should probably get going. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, I am Professor Stephen Desjardins. I'm the Assistant Chair of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at the University of Ottawa. Um, my role as Assistant Chair is primarily um, to be responsible for the undergraduate programs and the undergraduate students. Um, so what I'd like to do is uh, very briefly just show you a couple of things and then uh, we will be here to answer questions. Uh, also with me is Professor Perron, who is the chairman of the department. And uh, so what I'd like to do is just begin by saying a, a very briefly a couple of things about um, our department um, in general. So people often wonder, you know, what is it when you do math? Well, there's various things that that means. Mostly, of course, people think of problem solving, but there's more. There's a lot to do with analyzing data, recognizing patterns, trying to understand what's going on. Okay, and that's what mathematicians really do. They try to identify patterns, solve problems, understand what's really happening in the real world or from a theoretical point of view. Um, our department is one of the largest departments in the university. Um, because, of course, we basically teach classes to almost half of the students in the entire university. Uh, we are well represented across all of the disciplines of mathematics. Um, we have some of uh, the best uh, researchers in the country as members of our department. And additionally, we also have some of the best teachers at the University of Ottawa in our department as well. And it's one thing that I always say about our department, we take teaching extremely seriously. Um, we are very proud of our, of our teaching and the quality that we maintain. Um, historically, we've had some absolutely amazing students um, the last few years in particular. Here's just a handful, uh, but because of time limitations, I can't sing their praises in the detail I might like to. Uh, obvious questions people always ask well, what could I do, right? If I get a math degree, what could I do? Well, the, the interesting thing, of course, is that um, for many employers, including many that you wouldn't even think of, um, a math degree is highly uh, desired because of the kind of training that you actually get when you study mathematics. Because of course, what you're learning is you're learning um, problem solving skills. You're learning rational thinking. And that, of course, can be applied in so many, uh, many disciplines. So, I mean, they're the obvious things that people think. I mean, the teacher, obviously, um, statistician, data scientist, of course. Yeah, but there's also, you know, being an actuary. Um, there's all kinds of possibilities in research uh, in many fields, right? Um, not just in the sciences, but also in the social sciences, in the life sciences, Right, and there are also several possibilities um, for work in the fields uh, involving um, computers. Not just coding, but there's also uh, quite a few mathematics graduates um, locally that we, we know and are connected in fact with our department who are in the information security uh, sector for the federal government, um, but also for uh, private companies as well. Um, there are other possibilities uh, in the financial uh, industry. Um, there are also, of course, many opportunities um, to apply modeling in real world applications in the applied sciences and economics in the field of medicine, and it's endless. Um, again, if I had more time, I'd sing the praises of these uh, reports, but basically bottom line is math degrees get you good money. Um, math degrees, um, people with math degrees are amongst the top and highest earners, um, and they're also typically amongst the happiest employees as well. Um, I mentioned we have our students working everywhere. I mean, of course, because we are in Ottawa, the federal government is uh, one of the places that many of our, our graduates do end up, but it's surprising how many of the departments in the government that they actually work for. Um, Stats can, of course, being an obvious one, but also Health Canada, the Environment, um, CBSA, um, EDC. There are all kinds of things out there that our, our graduates are doing. We also have um, graduates working in uh, the research uh, facilities at the local hospitals and, and others. 
And we do, as I mentioned, have uh, graduates and folks affiliated with our department who are at CSES and CSEC um, in security. The math department itself, what do we have? Well, uh, one of the things that we can offer at the University of Ottawa is quite a lot of options in terms of what you would actually do, right? We have all your standard things that you expect, the major, the minor, and the honors in math and stats, but we also have joint programs with computer science, with physical economics. We have a, a financial mathematics and economics program, which is extremely popular. And we now have a, a new program uh, in data science, right? So we can offer um, a quite a wide variety of mathematics programs and math-based programs um, to our students. As well in the university as a whole, there is a lot of flexibility um, for combining things, doing majors and minors, doing a double major uh, and so on. And so you, you can do many interesting things uh, at the University of Ottawa in general. Um, quick thing, I mean, the minor can be anything you want. Um, couple of things to mention about our, our programs. Um, our stats program is accredited by the Statistical Society of Canada. So our graduates will earn the professional title of ASTAT, the Associate Statistician. And our financial math and economics program is also um, adequate preparation for the first two actuarial exams. Um, and we do have courses in the program that are accredited uh, by the Institute of Actuaries, which is something we're very proud of. Um, very briefly, um, what people do in their programs depends specifically on, you know, which program you're actually doing. Uh, but typical first year, um, you have four courses in mathematics, a linear algebra course, two calculus courses, and a math reasoning and proof course. And then whatever else depends on what you're doing. Um, if you're in one of our joint programs, you'll have one or two courses in the other discipline. Um, you also have the options for electives, of course, and uh, if you are in um, um, the major or honors or minor in math or stats, you will have other requirements for other science courses and so on. Um, in second year, this is where um, in, mo in most programs in the university as a whole, but very specifically in the mathematics programs, this is where you really get into what is math? How do mathematicians do math? Um, and our core courses, our true core courses start in second year, continue into third year and culminate of course in the fourth year where in most of our fourth year courses, um, you are doing um, things that are very field specific, but also you are studying these courses with professors who are experts in those fields. And this is something that we're very proud of as well. Um, the university as a whole, of course, has many opportunities for students in all of its programs. Um, you will, of course, get better information from the university's um, general information sources. But of course, there is always the options uh, for French immersion, for co-op. Um, we do have undergraduate research opportunities. There are international exchange opportunities. Uh, unfortunately, of course, because of the pandemic, they are currently on hold. But they will be uh, reinstated as soon as we can. And we have wonderful uh, connections with universities all across the world, um, in France, uh, in Senegal. Uh, we also have connections in uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, many, many places that would be of incredible interest to people who, who want that experience. Um, so very briefly, as I said, I wanted to run through some of the highlights of the presentation that we have here, um, but, because of time limitations, what um, I would really uh, like to do is um, answer questions uh, for people. Um, okay, so uh, what average do you need to get in from grade 11 from Quebec to enter this program? Um, that information specifically is best obtained from um, the general information fair at the university. Okay, I'll get that one in a sec. General information fair uh, the university is offering today. It varies a little bit from year to year, depending on you know, who's applying and what their averages are. Uh, typically, um, low to mid 80s um, are usually the, uh, the minimums. Uh, class sizes in first year. Okay, this is um, one of the things that 
we are very proud of at the University of Ottawa is that even though we are a relatively large university by Canadian standards, we are able um, to keep most of our classes, especially the large classes in first and second year, to 200, 250 students. Um, there are some of the first year courses that are 450 in our large auditorium. But uh, for students, for example, in the mathematics courses, your biggest course, your biggest classes are likely to be your first year calculus, your first year linear algebra. Those are likely to be 200, 250. Uh, but then when you get to the second year courses, you're down to 50 to 100. Uh, so the differences in data science um, and joint honors in math computer science. Okay, so the joint honors in math computer science um, is essentially a program that's offered by engineering in computer science that's like basically a major in computer science with a minor in math. The data science program is a combined program that is actually a two degree program. You get a, a, you get a, a degree in both math and computer science. It's a five-year program. And essentially the way I would describe it is it's like doing a triple major. It's like doing, your, a, triple, doing a triple major in math, statistics, and computer science. You get essentially enough of all three of them to be prepared for grad studies in any one of the three. So it's a much more extensive program. Uh, than the, the joint math computer science. Um, okay, math uh, clubs for math students. Um, yes, we do have um, in the, the university here, we do have a few things uh, for the math students. In the faculty of science in general, there is um, a students association for students in the faculty of science. Um, there is also a uh, women in math uh, group uh, for female students and uh, people who are uh, supportive. And we do have specifically um, as well a math club group uh, in that operates in our department and uh, presents uh, presentations on a weekly basis wherever possible. Um, of course, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we're not able to do things um, as normal this year. Um, but in a typical year, they have a presentation every week or two um, with a, a speaker who is presenting something of interest to a, you know, a broad appeal um, with uh, pizza. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe some of my friends. Okay, um, exchange is offered to Bordeaux. Um, the exchange with Bordeaux is a fairly regular one. Uh, there are other universities in France uh, where we do have exchange uh, agreements with as well. Um, and could someone learn French classes? Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, if you're competent in French, yes, you can apply. Uh, can you change streams? Um, yes. Okay, so if you, if you come in in French immersion, if you find it too difficult, um, what normally happens is yes, if, you, if this is something you do catch within the first two or three weeks, Yes, you can um, switch to the English versions of at least most of the courses immediately. It may not be possible to do all of them, um, but I would, I would sort of warn you that if um, you are in too far into the term, um, what the advisors would generally tell you in a situation like that is stick out the French courses through the term you are in switch to the English courses in subsequent English courses in the next term. Um, okay, how many students can be admitted in this co-op program of statistics? Um, it varies a little bit from year to year. Um, typically, we, I don't believe we've ever run into the having to deny people. Um, I believe we've never had that problem of, of all the students who are who qualify through the GPA requirement and the, the the program requirement. Uh, I don't think we've ever had to turn anybody away who's qualified. Welcome. Um, okay, so 
the uh, the opportunities in Canada North it varies literally from year to year as to which companies um, are able to uh, to take people. Um, so you could ask, um, for example, with the folks at the co-op office, um, you know, which ones have been have been the last year or two um, taking people, uh, but it does vary a bit from year to year as to which ones are are taking in co-op placements and also how many they may be able to take. Okay, so yeah, this is an interesting question because of course it's not quite spelled out clearly. Um, the intensive calculus courses um, are essentially, they are intended for students who are not comfortable with their background. Um, because essentially um, we know that when you're coming into um, our first year university uh, calculus courses, particularly the 1300, the 1320, the 1330 and the French equivalents, <clears throat> we are basically ex you know, expecting mastery of the Ontario grade 12 material um, or a course that's equivalent. But of course, we know that from people coming in from all places around the world, um, that that's not always the case. So we offer these intensive versions of the courses, which basically give a much more detailed um, introduction review of differential calculus. So it's, it's not more content, nor is it more proof based, it's more detail it's more review, um, it's intended for that purpose. So for students who are, you know, who, who are very comfortable with the grade 12 level material, it's it, no, it, it would not be the, the, the course for you. Okay, so join winners in uh, math and economics. I mean, that's literally that. It is literally, you know, math and economics. The financial math and economics is, of course, math and economics, but it's also more. You get um, some courses in administration and, some, and management, and you also get specifically courses um, in financial mathematics. So for people who are um, interested in a, a career um, either in finance or the actuarial sciences, the, the financial math and economics program is the appropriate choice. Um, the math and economics program um, is primarily, and, and what I would say to people is, that program is primarily for students um, who are interested in the study of uh, economics and would like to do it very seriously. They would like to do it very rigorously um, because they might be, for example, considering graduate school um, in economics. But like as I said, for people who are interested in the finance industry or actuarial science, the other program is, is the appropriate choice. Okay, unfortunately, um, our time is actually up because of um, scheduling conflicts and so on. Um, so unfortunately, because of the technical issues, oh, you're very welcome. Because of the technical issues we experienced, we had to be a little rushed and we didn't have as much time as we wanted. But uh, thank you uh, for, for people who did come. Um, thank you for the questions. And uh, we, of course, hope to see you all uh, at uh, the University of Ottawa next year. All right, so thank you, everybody. Um, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you, everyone.